all right so a quick quick guide for figma that's that's what this video is about under 10 minutes you can get to use start using this figma and get creating with your own um pages so first of all let's cut it up let's so this is the thing that you'll be created with uh let's make it let's rename it so we'll make a first file let's call it that now it's been saved as a first file you come here this these are the frames the the canvases you can say so you press on the frame and these are the devices you can go into the tablet mode you can go to the desktop mode um, these are the screen sizes let's select iPhone 14 for now and it's a very sharpie so you can change it to these are the corner radius these are the options that you see in design prototype inspect so we need the design right now and you select 50 now it's curved it's looking much more like an iPhone right so uh, let's uh, let's create let's let's make a hello page for instance so uh, this this is Let's create text fold here. So from here, I selected this and I can type in hello, hello again. Perfect. We select this. These are the fonts options. So we can have a local fonts um, or any other fonts. We can make it extra bold again and we can make it bigger in this font size. Uh, we can align it to center. We can align a little down. So it's aligned in the center. Perfect. Let's let's make it a little more bigger Bigger perfect. Hello again. That's that's so perfect, right? Okay, now the color you can change it the color through this way like like this. This is that color or like this that's up to you. Uh, you in order to change the background color you can also do that as well that's the background color how it's going to be showing and in order to change the color of this canvas you can select on the full name and then go into this fill and then you can choose that change color as well i'm just gonna give it white here all right now hello again and we need a couple input fields right that's the important part in input fields a card that can be showing an image or something like that so let's create an input field and let me show you how the input fields are created so for input field we're not we will be needing a rectangle shape so let's let's hit the rectangle shape like this perfect all right uh we're not going to fill it to the white color we're going to keep it as that and, and and let's add a text underneath it under it i mean uh like this and let's call it um for instance it's it's just like for enter your name exactly perfect uh we need the super light it has to be super light it has to be very small and the color that's the most important part of a placeholder is its color that's its color that's the color should be and now you can select it and you can put it to white oops you can put it to white but before white that's the background color you're going to be changing white there's an option called stroke you add here and the stroke is basically the boundary on that rectangle field so we do need a stroke you can select it outside stroke inside stroke and this is for the thickness for the stroke we'll, we'll keep it we'll keep it two for now and again it's looking very very bad for now let's change it to white color it's still not looking nice though so let's add a curves to it let's add a radius curves to it let's add a ton radius curve. now it's looking much much more better uh, again the input fields are always starting right here this is the place where it's looking now much much nicer now uh, these are two components it has a two components inside all right so you can combine them but basically it's a it's a one one a one thing you'll count it as a one input field but it's made up of two components so in order to combine all this you select both and then you press this button this is a create component you do this a component has been created you can double click on it and you can rename it input field and now you can reuse it again and again you just command v command command c command v you paste it here and now you can change it for like enter password um align it perfectly okay 
that's all set and what is another thing uh, obviously an image that's a again a really important part of any um, uh, Figma design or high fidelity design that you're trying to make so let's let's uh, let's create an image of circle that's a very common so we'll create here and then order to have it should have an image right so let's lay profile image um, without any copyright so let's let's go on the splash and let's try let's try anything let's try this let's try any 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 anything you want let's try uh, let's say I have icons let's select any ipad and we want let's use community for instance we're, we're, we're making it like this Yeah, so for, for instance, we'll download it. It's been downloading right now. Going to be using. So let's, uh, so, so in order to add an image, uh, you can go to this button, you go to the file and you say place image. And then you select the image, you press open, and now you have the image, right? So you can place it anywhere you want. You place it in this, place it in this, we'll place it in this, and it's gonna perfectly set automatically. See, it's all set. And uh, it's all perfect. So what is the last thing? Is a button. That's again a really important thing. So we'll go to rectangle and we'll create a button right here. And uh, again, exactly the same way. We'll call it uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Again, it's a button. It should be aligned like this. It should be thicker, much thicker. It should be much bigger. And again, uh, that's all set for this. Uh, we need to have its color to white. And now go select this, the, the rectangle. We need to have 20, uh, 20 radius, and it should have a color. So we'll we'll put a color to something like like this. Oh, uh, let's let's put something like reddish. Okay, it's all set. Uh, let's put a stroke to it as well. You can do the same. Let's put a white stroke or a ready stroke. Any 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 kind of name you want. Let's put a. Uh, that's that's the stroke on the text, by the way. Um, in order, if you don't want to put it, you can just minus it right here. Now let's select the whole component and let's have a stroke on it as well. See, it has a subtle touch of a color bleeding. Um, and that's it. That's all pretty much it. That's all you gotta do. Uh, again, exactly select this and then do that. That's what you gotta do. Um, now, one thing is left uh, that is, in order to create, um, in order to connect the displays, you can also rename it these components as well. Let's call it button. Okay. So, uh, in order to connect the displays, you create another frame, for instance, iPhone, that's, that's another phone, for instance, and we have some content on here as well, alright? Now, if I press this button, how would I know that I'm going to be directing to this, but to this page? How I'm going to be directing to this page? Uh, is you press here, you go into the prototype, you press this plus button, and then you, from holding this, you select it right here. You say navigate to 14.2 on tap. Perfect. 
it's all set it's all perfectly set that's how you actually do it so it's the flow that's been described in here so anyhow that's pretty much it for this video uh, that's all you got to do uh, in order to export it um, you need to go to the file and export any how you want it can be saved on your local file easily thank you for watching like and subscribe